What's going on guys, my name is Mr. Nice Guy, and it is Mario Kart time, and we are back playing more Mario Kart 8, and we are going to be continuing my 200cc playthrough of the all new DLC Pack 2. Last episode, we played the Crossing Cup, and today we are going to be doing the Super Bell Cup. And as you can see, I have been practicing 200cc, it's been about a little over 24 hours since I recorded the last episode, and I've been practicing on the other previous cups, the older tracks in 200cc, but I have yet to play all the all, the Super Bell Cup in any of the CCs, so this is going to be my first attempt on these tracks, and we're going to hop right in there with 200cc. This episode, we're going to be playing as Isabel. We're going to be using the cart, the P-Wing, and we're going to leave everything else the same. I showed you guys the leaf wheels and the paper glider last time, but I like these stats right here, so that's what we're going to be sticking with. So let's get over to the Bell Cup, which consists of Neo Bowser City, Ribbon Road, the Super Bell Subway, I believe that's what the track is called, and Big Blue. So I just said the name of the tracks, and I just forgot what the first one is. <laughs> uh, what is it? Let's see. I'm loading screens, though. Oh, it's Neo Bowser City. Honestly, I was not a huge fan of this track in Mario Kart 7, and I wasn't too happy to see it returning in Mario Kart 8, but hey, I'll give this track another chance. Sadly, it's rainy, so your uh, traction to the road is a little poor, so you might be doing a little slip sliding, but uh, I believe in me, myself. I believe in me, I don't think that is proper grammar. Who knows, maybe this will be better in, Mar in Mario Kart 8 than in... It was in seven. Oh, get wrecked. Oh, jeez, I am. Okay, this track has a lot of twists and turns, which was something that made it pretty difficult in Mario Kart 7, but in 200cc, this is going to be insane. Really got to break around these corners. Come on. Dude, this, this, see, these corners are just way too tight for uh, 200cc. Like, they were too tight for 150cc. That's what I had issues with it. And let's go over here. Oh, geez, that sign's in the way. Oh, geez, that is a hard to make. It was a lot easier to do in Mario Kart 7. And we are in flame down. Oh, crap. All right, my goal for this is to get first place like I did last time. Like I said, I've been practicing uh, 200 CC in the previous cups. So I have been getting better, Mario. I have been getting better. But, oh, my God, that green shell, though. I say that every time there's a green shell. <laughs> that green shell, though. Um, but these are brand new tracks I have yet to play on. And I'm just getting bodied by items left and right. Oh my goodness. I think I'm not going to like this track, guys. <laughs> I didn't like it in Mario Kart 7. Probably because I sucked at it. And I feel like that might be the same thing here. Now, I'm not going to risk it this time. Look at that. I can make it. Never mind. That's a lot. I made it. <laughs> okay. You can kind of make that, I guess, without using the little air booster thing that... Okay, that green, I mean, that red shell will help. They can make that, I guess, without the help of the little air. Hey, take that bob bomb. Okay, who's in first place? Baby Peach? Oh my god, that boomerang, though. Gosh dang it, dude, these turns are just the death of me. Cannot do these to save my life. Alright, here we go, comeback time. Come back, which means third place. <laughs> Not instead of fifth place. Alright, third place isn't terrible. That is, in track is very difficult because of all the sharp turns it has. I remember it being pretty hard to do in 150cc in Mario Kart 7 with all those twists and turns at 200cc. is just taking it a little overboard. Alright, I believe this next track is Ribbon Road, which is another track that has a lot of twists and turns and looks pretty difficult to end, so. Uh, this should be pretty fun. There's also a little reference on this track. Wait for it. If you look right there, oh, you, it just passed it. it. It said Kung Fu Lakitu. It's a reference to Kung Fu Panda. Shoutouts to Game Explain for showing me that. <laughs> they made a video about it. Alright, let's go. This is a track returning from Mario Kart Super Circuit on the Game Boy Advance, which I did actually end up getting on the Game Boy Advance. Oh, jeez. I actually got it when the DS was out, like, you know how GameStop used to sell, like, used Game Boy games? They don't do that anymore, because there's, like, a certain limit of how old a game is that they'll sell. 
and I picked up Mario Kart Super Circuit because I'm a big Mario Kart fan and I just wanted to try it out and see what it was like. Oh god, is that Rush coming for me? And that bomb is not gonna help me. Um, oh, almost got the bomb snipe. It's not hurt myself though for a minute. Alright. Oh, dude, that wall bang. Mario's got the pro MLG strats. Sound off the air horns. <laughs> I need some dubstep with that one. Okay, I think I'm gonna hold on to these Blanabas. Shout out to my Donkey Kong Country Return Slash Play. It's a little reference right there. Oh, Mario just fell off. I've actually noticed that. The CPUs like fall off sometimes because they can't even contain the speed of 200cc, man. We got this, guys. First place. Mario is on our tail still. But I think I'm just gonna hold on to these triple bananas. Okay, we are doing a lot better this time. Okay, here comes the hard part, though. Alright, so far so good. Okay, so I'm not even gonna drift. Alright, now just don't hit these Koopa carts. Koopa clown cars. Shout out to Bowser Jr. and Smash 4. Oh, that blue shell, and we just made it across the line in time. We did really good that last lap. I kind of learned the track layout, knew what, what turns are coming up next. We did good. Hopefully we can keep this up throughout the rest of this episode here. Alright, next tra track is Super Bell Subway, I believe the name is. And this track actually looks really fun. There's like all sorts of different alternate routes you can go on. It's side of a subway. Yep, it's called Super Bell Subway, so that's correct. And they look at the, the little graffiti on the side. It looks like... Uh, 1-2 from the original Mario. Super Mario on the NES. Alright, let's do this. It's also, um, you'll be racing along some trains in the when you go down in the subway. So, um, that'll be interesting. And I'm starting off pretty bad. We're running into walls. And speak of trains, there's one right now. Ooh, I'm going off-road. I was not aware... Thought that was off road. I like this music though. It's pretty kind of relaxing for 200 cc. <laughs> oh, we're jumping over a train. Get over here, baby Peach. Oh, jeez. All right. All right. First lap. So we just learned to lay out a little bit there. Hopefully we can learn, use that to my advantage. Is that green shell? Oh, please don't hurt me. Okay, what is this guy? Wendy's got a, a mushroom, so I can hit her with this red shell, which is good. Using that Wii U gamepad to your advantage. So look at other people's items. Okay, we got another red shell here. And we we're almost at first place. We we're right next to the guy in first place. And we just cut him off, whoever that was. Was that Mario? That might have been Baby Peach? I don't know. All right, guys. See that second lap was so much better. Once I know that these track, once I learn these track layouts, things start going well for me. Can I drift? Oh no, we're off road. Stay on the road. Okay, let's not run into the train. Okay, let's try going up here. We haven't gone up here. Oh, there's you, banana though. Oh, whoa. okay, please. Oh God, he's got a red shell. Let's hold that banana behind us. Okay, I'm just going to hold on to this banana. I'm not going to give it a trick off that because I don't want to. Okay, I'm just going to slide because of this ink. Come on. Yeah, there were another first place. We're doing really good. I am happy. Look how cute Isabel is. Uh, fun fact, I've actually never played a Animal Crossing game before. I am pretty interested in playing one. I was thinking about picking up New Leaf, but I ended up getting Fire Emblem Awakening instead. So, I don't know, one one of these days I'll probably try out an Animal Crossing game. Uh, and now, on to one of the tracks I'm looking the most forward to playing. Big Blue, another track from F-Zero, so now we got Mute City and Big Blue. Two of the most uh, famous tracks as well in the F-Zero series. We've seen a Mute City track in Smash Brothers and a Big Blue track in Smash Brothers. And now we're seeing, wait, a track in, I mean, stage in Smash Brothers. Now we're seeing a track in Mario Kart. So let's get some coins. Uh, 
Taking those drifts a little wide. Should probably should have went took the other route so I could get some more coins. Now, we're at the disadvantage on this stage of I there's only one lap, so uh, I don't have a chance to learn in this uh, layout here. This is all first attempt. I probably should have gotten some coinage here, but too late for that now. Take that turn. Oh, very sharp turn. Come on. That is a sharp turn. Alright, stay in this water for the extra speed boosts. Now we're approaching a glider section. Oh, yeah, this is the really cool part. I remember seeing this in the trailer. Yeah, right here. This part's really sweet. We just kind of do like a whole entire flip around. Oh no, that's a blue shell. That might mean no first place for me because we are pretty close to the finish line already. Uh, I'm taking purple. No, Mario, why did you just steal that from me? Use little nuggets. All right. I just want first place overall. We don't have to get first place this race. Second place, that is. Still good. And I'm pretty sure that basically confirms I'm going to be coming in first place. Yep, we're beating Baby Peach by two points there. Baby Peach did put up a tough competition. Let's view them results. There we go, guys. I'm pretty happy with that. Both of my first attempts at playing these tracks in 200cc, I was able to come in first place overall. So I'm happy. Obviously, I still got the Mario Kart skills, even after taking breaks and playing Smash Brothers a whole bunch. I have, I think, uh, around like 200 hours of playtime on Smash Brothers already. It might be on time or playtime, I don't remember. But we can skip this little replay. Let's get right to that trophy. And hey, there it is. First place. We didn't get any stars, but. I'll replay these on my own time and get those three star rankings. It'll be uh, quite the challenge though. Apologize about my dogs barking in the background. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, feel free to check out my other videos. My name is Mr. Nice Guy and I will talk to you later.